So let's take you now to the nation's capital, where federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh is speaking to reporters ahead of the premier's meeting on health care with the prime minister. Let's listen in. Delivery now is calling it innovation. This is a choice in front of the prime minister. He can choose to fix the problem that we have to rebuild our healthcare system and hire more healthcare workers and support that effort by working with provinces, or he can choose to continue down the path of for-profit private care, which is going to make things worse. It's going to cannibalize the public sector workers and it'll make things even harder for people in emergency rooms. There's a choice in front of Canadians. We choose health care, hiring more health care workers, and it remains to be seen where the Prime Minister is going to land. So far, he's been leaning towards the for-profit care, which is the wrong thing to do. The Canada Health Act already has provisions to prevent private health care. Two-tier health care system. Are you calling the Prime Minister to put in an additional condition on this funding agreement with provinces and territories above and beyond that? Yes. Uh, and the reason why we're calling for that is the problem that we're up against in our health care systems across the country is a shortage of health care workers. What we're seeing with, with Doug Ford's plan in Ontario, if we focus on one specific example, the increase in private for-profit delivery of care is not going to solve the problems in our emergency rooms, in our children's hospitals, because those for-profit private clinics are going to need workers. If there's going to be a massive expansion, where are those workers going to come from? The public sector. They're going to cannibalize and poach workers from the public sector, from the emergency rooms, from the children's hospitals, and they're going to end up in the for-profit clinics, making the already serious crisis worse. That is not solving the problem. So I want the Prime Minister to use the negotiations now to solve the problems, to fix the problem in our health care, to rebuild our health care system by hiring more health care. But you know that in the Canadian law on health care, what you ask is not there. So you ask for supplementary conditions à la veille d'une rencontre où il y a déjà conditions? Elle s'est pas en train de jeter en train de mettre des bâtons dans les roues de M. Trudeau pour avoir une entente. Are you not uh, ce que je veux faire, si je veux régler la crise, et si c'est clair que la crise no, what I want to do is resolve the crisis and it's clear Comment that the crisis is a lack of workers. De privatisation How can I accept the approach of for-profit privatization that Ça, will make this problem worse? That's why I am demanding that the government and the prime minister invest in the health System, de plus de de, de santé, hire more health care workers and to use these negotiations right now to solve the crisis. That's what I want to see. That's what Canadians across the country and Quebecers want to see as well. Question, could this affect your deal with the Liberals? Ce n'est pas une décision qu'on va prendre aujourd'hui. That's not a decision that we're going to make today. Today, what we're going to do is put as much pressure as possible to demand that the prime minister say no to for-profit privatization or hire more health workers. Aujourd'hui, on va continuer de mettre la pression. And if not, well, we'll continue to put pressure on, our, on to that today, and so we will not be making any decisions today about that. And we want to investments in the health system and more workers. I think it's reasonable that when we're up against a healthcare crisis, the federal government says we are, we are going to be there as a partner. We are willing to be there as a partner, but we want to find ways to solve the actual healthcare crisis. And that means making sure we hire more healthcare workers. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. And I think the prime minister needs to come clear. Uh, he's called privatization for profit delivery of care, which is going to make the healthcare crisis worse, innovation. He is wrong on that. Do Democrats believe we need to invest more in public health care and hiring more health care workers, nurses, doctors, frontline health care workers? That's what the prime minister needs to do and to use this negotiation, the opportunity right now to negotiate to actually solve the problem. Mr. Singh, you you're very critical kind of, of the conservative premiers very often, and most of the people are actually conservatives. Do you trust that if the federal government gives them money, they're actually going to spend it on health care? I'm very concerned about that, like many Canadians are. They're already seeing the conservative premiers hoard money, not spend it on health care, have uh, surpluses that they're not using towards solving the health care crisis, which makes it all the more important that the Prime Minister be very firm that if we deliver health care funding, which we should, it should go towards clear outcomes, hiring more health care workers, fixing the problems in our health care system. Now, those are real meaningful conditions, and that's what I'm calling on the Prime Minister to do, to make it clear that he's opposed to private delivery for-profit care, uh, which so far he's called innovation and to make it clear that we want to invest in the solutions 
which is delivering more healthcare workers to our healthcare system. So far, uh, we've not seen that, and I'm deeply concerned, given the track record of many of these conservative premiers, that they're just going to continue to make the healthcare system worse and worse, opening up the door for privatization, which is going to make healthcare in general in our country even worse. What do you, what do you want to say to Canadians, though, who maybe waited a year for a knee replacement, and they say, I don't care if I get out of a private clinic or a public clinic, I just want a knee replacement? Well, when it comes to those important surgeries, we already have a public system. Let's invest in more healthcare workers to deliver that care in the public system that already exists. Why set up and invest massively in expanding a parallel private system when we already have a public system. We already have public infrastructure. We already have public workers. We just need more of them. And in addition, of course, I am deeply concerned about people who are waiting for months and months for important surgeries like knee surgeries and hip replacements. The problem in our healthcare system goes beyond that. It also includes problems in our ER room. If we go down a path of private for-profit delivery of care, it's going to cannibalize the public sector workers. There's only a limited number of them, and there's already a shortage. Where are they going to come from? They're going to come from the ER rooms. They're going to come from the hospitals. That's only going to make the crisis worse. So on two fronts, it is the wrong approach. We've got public system, invest in that, hire more workers. We can get those surgeries done in the public system. And on the second front, it's actually going to make things worse if we divert resources out of the already understaffed emergency rooms into for-profit private clinics. We don't want to put more profit into the pockets of rich CEOs. We want to put more care forward for Canadians. This isn't really even on the radar for any of the premiers, it seems. None of them are bringing it up. You're really the only politician who's talking about it right now. Why do you think that this is not uh, something that, that has engaged them? I don't think the other conservative premiers or the conservative leader federally not just, or the not prime minister... Yeah, I, I don't think they are as committed to defending our healthcare system as I am as a New Democrat, as we are as New Democrats. I think they, they, they don't see the, the real problems on the ground. We've spoken to healthcare workers constantly, and they tell us that our healthcare system is under crisis because there's just not enough healthcare workers. That is what we've got to focus on. And New Democrats are focused on making sure people get the best care possible and we solve the problem. That's what we want to do. And the solution here is not an easy one, but we've got to focus on what it is, hiring more healthcare workers, retaining them, respecting them, recruiting more, training more. It can be done, but that has to be the focus, that has to be the priority. Unlike uh, premier, uh, the premiers who are, who are focused on starving our healthcare system to open up the door for privatization, and then we've got Pierre Polyev celebrating that, applauding that, and Mr. Trudeau calling that innovation. Those are all the wrong approaches to this problem. But premiers want a deal done as soon as possible, so would you be in favor of the federal government taking longer or refusing to concede on the condition of strings attached to kind of hold the hard line versus maybe meet premiers halfway to get some money out the door? Well, I understand the crisis requires urgency, but I don't want to see a response to the urgency make the problem even worse. That's not actually going to solve what Canadians are going through. It's not going to help uh, a parent that's worried about their kids going to a children's hospital that is over capacity, like we've seen across the country, like here in Ottawa. They're operating constantly at over capacity levels and people aren't getting the care they need. It's not going to help people that are go to an emergency room and have to wait 15 hours, 16 hours and longer sometimes for care. So I don't want to see investments that don't actually fix the problem. And so while I do acknowledge the urgency and we need to move quickly, we also have to fix the actual problem. And if the investments today, if the deal today doesn't include an agreement or a commitment to hiring more healthcare workers, it will be a failure and it will not make things better. If the agreement today doubles down on the path of for-profit private delivery of care, it's only going to make things worse. So what is the NDP calling for with respect to the involvement of First Nations leaders in healthcare negotiations? I think with respect to First, uh, First Nations, it's very clear this is a primarily a federal responsibility. So the federal government really has to step up and provide uh, increased funding and better delivery of care. There have been uh, horrible examples of care that does not meet the needs of Indigenous communities, massive gaps between what, what everyday uh, folks receive and what Indigenous communities receive. Uh, this is deeply concerning and it is a very much a responsibility of the federal government to fix. If it's going to be a failure if there's no provision for hiring health care workers, you're in the driver's seat because this money is going to be in the budget. Does that mean you're not going to support the budget if there's no specific money for hiring health care workers? Well, it's going to come back to uh, what Prime Minister Trudeau is going to say to Canadians. If, if the problem and the crisis we're going through is one where there's not enough health care workers and the deal that he signs with premiers doesn't involve actually fixing the problem, that's a question that he's going to have to answer for Canadians. What we're focused on today uh, is not hypotheticals. We're being very clear. 
We want to see action on hiring more healthcare workers. That is what the Prime Minister himself promised in the last election. He promised to hire more 7,500, 7,500 more nurses and doctors. That's his promise. We're saying deliver on that promise. You promised it a couple years ago, or less than a couple years ago, a year and a half ago in 2021. Deliver that. That's something that Canadians want to see happen. That's something that I want to see happen. So it's up to now the Prime Minister to make a decision. Does he want to rebuild our healthcare system, hire more healthcare workers, or does he want to put more profit in the pockets of rich for-profit corporations? And doesn't follow through in that, can you continue yeah. to support him? All right, you've been listening live to federal right now, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh that's a, that's a speaking to reporters.